What is going on guys? DJ Hess here and I'm bringing you guys my very first gameplay from Drive-In from the new map pack uh, from Annihilation and basically uh, again this is the first gameplay that I had on, on Drive-In and um, why I played the new map packs for maybe about two hours or so and I finally got this gameplay uh, and uh, you know I was anticipating and waiting to play this this map and it was so so it's supposed to be like a nuke nuketown and it was like eight times bigger than nuketown so I wasn't overly impressed uh, fun I guess I ended up going 25 I think in seven and I was using spy plane uh, napalm and blackbird so I can kind of see the their uh, locations uh, kind of pivotal when you're starting a new map because um, you got, got to know where they're spawning and stuff uh, I, I didn't know where any of that stuff was but I'm using the AUG and I switch it up to my trusty G11 both gold and um, that's about it what uh, this video I w actually want to talk to you guys about something though that's kind of a hot topic in the YouTube community right now and it's called video bumping and um, if you don't know what that is basically these YouTube commentators that are out there have figured out a way to bump their videos to the number one spot on your sub box. So basically, when you log into your homepage as a subscriber um, that, uh, that I'm speaking to you guys, when you guys log into your homepage, depending on who you have um, subscriptions to, um, basically, if, if the, your subscriptions upload a video that was five minutes ago, it ends up on top. If, uh, if it was ten minutes ago, it ends up under that video. An hour ago, it ends up under that video, and so on and so on. Well, what these guys are figured out how to do is do this uh, thing called video bumping. And shout out to Ricky Chops and Ukrainian Limbs for uh, bringing this to to um, our attention. And I'm going to link the, the, his video below. But basically, what ends up happening is they upload a video four, let's say four hours ago. I upload a video five minutes ago. They they do this technique called video bumping, and all of a sudden you will look and their video is all of a sudden um, on the number one spot my video is underneath theirs possibly well if you have 15 commentators that are doing this that have substantially larger channels than myself and that know how to use this technique basically their video all 15 of their videos are going to show up before mine and I'll get questions like I did this last week um, asking me yo DJ Hess when are you going to upload a new video and I'll be like are you, I uploaded eight videos in the last two days this was last week when this happened a couple times um, and I uploaded literally eight videos in two days and I know that's a lot of content but I uploaded them they're all Shangri-La videos and I was trying to get them out there so you guys could see so YouTube could see and maybe I could get some extra sub subscriptions from it um, but basically because I'm assuming that these videos are being bumped it ends up bumping smaller channels like myself that aren't doing that out of the picture and um, and it's, a fr it's fairly frustrating knowing that people are taking advantage of YouTube once again just kind of the same way as other people have used to do the likes and favorites uh, with the giveaways to make it so that their their video is number one on U the YouTube homepage in turn giving them an extra 20,000 subscribers like every every other day or whatever it might be I mean it's it's a way to to push yourself to get to the next level which is great you know if, if, if people want to succeed in, um, that's great but there's questions of some morality to that and whether it's it's a moral obligation or not to to, to be able to do um, like certain certain things like that I, to me I, I don't know it's like if you're that money hungry to the point where you need to 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 do certain techniques to um, find loopholes I guess to to exploit your videos to and I by exploit I don't use that term loosely I'm I mean exploit your videos because some of the videos are shit quality that are getting highly rated um, in comparison to a lot of other videos that don't get any shine at all, it, it is an exploitation. It, it's it's taking a video that that is supposed to be viral, and and it's if it's liked, it's liked for a reason. If it's if it's uh, thumbs up or um, I mean favorited, it's favorited for a reason. Like if it's a good strategy guide, I'll favorite it because I think it's 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 something that I um, will look to use in the future, or or you know it's give, giving them some sort of credit for the fact that. That they created it, but the fact that videos that are just horseshit get favorited and liked because the commentator has a big channel and wants uh, to end up on the on the the homepage of YouTube, it's kind of a dick move. And um, I mean, it is it is what it is. But the bottom line is is the video bumping thing is is kind of um, not a very nice thing to do if you're a commentator that that uh, has a, a 
a good amount of people. Now, I know everybody has to keep up with, with the Joneses, so to speak, and, and if you're not uh, doing these techniques, then all of a sudden you're not going to get any any recognition on your channel at all. And it's a, it's a sad thing that that has to happen, that these exploits um, are occurring, and hopefully YouTube can fix this issue so we don't even have to discuss this anymore. But but it's it's frustrating um, again as a smaller channel knowing that even as uh, even if I post four or five videos um, they're not gonna get their views they're not gonna get any views from some subscribers because they're not gonna literally see them even if people really want to see the videos and if it's kind of robbing other commentators um, that are not doing that out, out of uh, a couple views and personally for myself do I care about views uh, to a point yes but the bottom line is, is I get more views on my videos than I, um, than I want. I guess. I mean, if I get a hundred views on a video, I'm cool with that. Like, I don't need ten thousand views, a hundred thousand views on a on a video. Um, you know, I have a couple. I have one video that has over two hundred fifty thousand views, which is badass. But um, if my average video gets over a hundred views, three hundred views, a thousand views, I'm okay with that. I don't care. Um, I'm not trying to make money off this. Uh, as of yet, hopefully in the, in the long term, if if um, my channel grows, you know, I'll I'll be one of those people in those positions that have a moral obligation and, and choice, and and by all means, I'll be upholding my moral obligation because I'm not gonna I'm coming from a small channel, and I don't want to screw over those those people trying to build up their their channels as well. If it's a hundred people or if it's fifty thousand people, it's it's, um, it's still not a great idea to. Uh, to take advantage of the system to try to push yourself ahead and I think that's the sad part of, of where the YouTube community is right now like it's got to the point where people see uh, that you can make some sort of an income off of off of posting gameplays and getting people to follow their videos and like and favorite and and just oh, all in all have views uh, to make an income and all of a sudden they see a little bit of green and people don't like they don't know what to do with themselves well I've been fortunate enough in my situation that I've seen money. I've made a lot of money from DJing, more more money than most most DJs do, um, and and I made a lot, a lot of short money. Um, I mean, I'm talking at least a hundred k a year. I, I was making that just DJing, and I did that for a handful of years. I knew it wasn't going to last, and so I, I established the future and other things for myself. Uh, it's it's a, a shame to me to see these commentators out here trying to make um, their income, seeing, seeing the short paper, and then taking advantage of it. And it's gotten to the point where everybody is trying to get some, and if, if they have a, a good amount of people on their channel, um, they're doing what anything that they can to try to gain subscribers, gain views, and and ultimately gain more money. And and I don't know, I think it's a sad, sad thing to see that, that more people are just letting the green uh, affect them and, and letting them do cheap tactics like this to be able to to try to get more uh, more shine and I don't know I think I think my rant is over about this but it's it's something that's kind of fresh and new to the community that I saw yesterday uh, I went to bed really late last night and I uh, was watching some some stuff on this and seeing some tweets back and forth about it and some people are pissed that it's exposed other people uh, are are pissed that 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 other people have been ex using this loophole, and I think a Muzza Fuzza mentioned it, and you should check out his commentary on on this as well because it's it's true and it's to the point. He even admits he has friends that that have been using this ploy that have been screwing him out of views because uh, I mean he has a huge channel, and and um, he doesn't think that a lot of the views have been happening that necessarily should have probably been happening. So. I don't know. It's all this view whoring bullshit and subscriptions and blah blah blah. And I think people are doing it for different reasons. And it's sad because anytime somebody sees the the word like, favorite, or uh, or or anything, it's like they automatically assume that it's bad. I mean, if somebody thumbs down my video because I asked for a like, then they obviously don't know the full magnitude of of the community in in, in general. Because a like for me is is nothing like asking. Of, me asking for a like in my video is nothing like um, White Boy asking for a favorite or something like that because uh, he has a way larger channel and a lot more people are gonna thumbs up and like his videos and in turn bumping his stuff up, which is it's fine. I don't think it's there's anything wrong asking for likes. It's it's the fa it's the the whole thing that happened previous to that with the whole giveaways to gain 
subscribers. Uh, it's another cheap tactic that was used that was frowned upon in the community and now um, it's not being used and I'm hoping that this bumping thing is going to be the next step uh, so that people aren't doing that. So uh, if you guys want to leave some comments in uh, below, let me know what you guys think about this whole thing because I, I frankly am not for it and I'm hoping these larger channels will cut the bullshit out and uh, let smaller channels like myself be able to be seen on the subscribers uh, homepages. Thanks guys.